What's going on guys? This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us and I'm going to take care of a popular request that I've gotten over the next few over the past few weeks. It's about resetting a battery in a laptop. This is going to work on any laptop, Macs, PCs, anything in between if you can find such a thing. It'll work on any laptop to reset your battery. And the problem, uh, Drake Fulmer from Fulmer 4 Tech, I know he has a 15 inch MacBook Pro, the, I believe it's the mid-2009 model, and his battery is only a fraction as good as it used to be. Um, my MacBook Pro, which I'm using to record the screen right now, I, uh, I actually have iStat Pro, which is a really nice free dock application that you can get from Apple. Just Google it, iStat Pro. And it's going to tell me my battery health. And right now it's about 88%, which isn't very good, so I need to do a reset in the future. But with any PC or any Mac, this is how you're going to do it. Plug your laptop into a power source. Let it charge all the way up, all the way to 100%. Now that it's at 100%, unplug the power cord and let it go all the way down. Don't let it go to sleep, don't let it hibernate. If it does, restart it until that battery is completely dead. It needs to be on zero, you know, not 5% with the light blinking. Let it go down all the way. Uh, just don't make sure everything's saved and, you know, obviously it's not going to hurt the operating system to crash, but if you have any applications open, it may hurt them. So close everything and just let it rot overnight. Or 10 minutes if your battery is as bad as Drake's is. Then recharge your laptop battery all the way up all the way from zero to 100. It should make a big difference. That should get the numbers in sync. It should now be accurate and last longer. It's not gonna go from 11% health to 100. It might go from 11 to 50. Do it again, 50 to 75. Um, these lithium ion batteries are not exactly the best. If that doesn't do it and you've got a Mac, you can always go over to the Apple Store. They can run diagnostics on it. If it's a problem, they'll give you a new battery, maybe even a whole new computer so they don't have to take it apart. But with 88%, with one reset, I could probably get mine up to about 95. I know it takes a long time, especially with my battery. It'll last about 10 hours if I'm not doing any video work or Photoshop or anything like that. But I hope that helped. Leave your comments and thoughts below if it worked for you, if you know anything that does a better job. There's some software that can do that so you don't have to watch it the whole time and come back. I know the ThinkPad, it's got some battery software that allows it to do that. And that's actually really nice because it lets it go down further and then when it does die or just before it dies, it gives a command to restart and uh, start charging again. You don't even have to unplug the cord, the computer, the software just tells it to stop um, charging the battery up, which is nice. So hopefully that'll work. Um, with the Macs, you can replace the batteries on a lot of them. They're Mac batteries. They don't use traditional, like, what looks like a double A, if I have one in here, inside the batteries, because there's a lot of wasted space around here. They actually use something that kind of looks more like an iPhone. It's square on the sides. So that's uh, just a little tidbit of information about how Mac, most Apple uh, laptop batteries work. So look forward to reading those comments. Be sure to check out our site. It's techinform.us. Lots of tech posts there. My personal Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The business Twitter, twitter.com slash techinformus. And then catch us live Tuesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you in tomorrow's. Bye.